Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. And god damn, bro, why does weeks feel like two months? Because I swear, yo, I felt like I was waiting for this episode for like the longest. Probably feel like that most likely due to how fire the last episode was. Because the last episode sets up for so much shit to happen in the future. Especially with the two biggest plot points being that Kane planted the badge in Tariq's drawer. Which he is still a whole ass nigga for that. I have not gotten over that. And two, we got fucking Zeke being the son of Mecca and Monet. That has to be one of the biggest plot twists that ever happened in any of the power universes. In all of the power universes. I apologize. I don't know what's wrong with my vocabulary right now. And it really fucking sucks too because after this episode, we're going to be on a two week break. And god damn, bro, why? Just why? And we all already know that the second half of any of the power seasons, that's when shit just go loose and it just be consistent fire. And I definitely can't wait to see how does this all unfolds and what will be the outcome of all of this happening, man. Let's go ahead and get to reacting. I really do feel bad for Zeke, bro. He don't deserve to go through all of this and putting stress on his future and career. How would he get you out? Yo, okay. is he going to jail for real or is he turning himself in? It's too late, father. Yo, what the fuck? If it's one thing about Tariq, he's going to be late to something. Oh, she is so fine. <laughs> the man dipped before she even got a chance to see him like that. Holy Did shit, you, what the hell sure. happened? Well, you heard her. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Monet ready to just dip. Still feel weird that he is actually talking to his mom and he does not know. Listen, you won't let me speak? Oh shit, <laughs> you ain't playing. You better let him speak. Man, they about to crack down on Tariq real soon. Oh snap! <laughs> Tariq planning to put somebody on a T-shirt. Bro, mm, you keeping secrets from Braden again? They're gonna have an eventual fallout between their friendship. <laughs> Damn! Oh, they shut that shit down. <laughs> Bro, let me find out that Monet gonna put down Milgram in the future. I'm sure she does, but if she keeps investigating with y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all gonna be investigating her death soon. There's so many people in my mind that I don't know who's going to survive past this season. Dante, is this our first time hearing his first name or did they mention it before and I wasn't listening? Oh, trust funds, bro, Mecca. He really trying to help out Monet, but I don't know. Mecca still seems kind of fishy. Like he has another mastermind plan that he has. And I'm not 16. I'm gonna get him out of here. Damn. I didn't know they go that way back. So how old was Monet when she popped out Zeke? I'm not leaving New York until you do it with me. And I believe that too. He would not go anywhere without you, Monet. That man is in love. Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to get an apartment in less than 24 hours. I mean, you can, but in his situation, I don't think you could. Oh, <laughs> she seemed kind of sus of him. Cut Tate ass off. Milgram, what you trying to do? Yo, what's going on? She must know something about Tariq now. So Zeke? Zeke looking like he having the time of his life. And what is Monet doing there? It's fine. I'm call you later. <laughs> the amount of lying he's doing to her, she's going to find out like he's like a drug dealer within the next three or four episodes. I will give it that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that she figured out last episode that Kane and Tariq was involved in the whole um. Jabari Reynolds shit. Yeah, he did. 
Ooh, yeah, she got a point. Because hell, anything that comes out your mouth now is bullshit to her. I still shoot your ass for wasting my time. She is ready to pull the trigger. To re each other. Oh damn, she needs you. So I need you to find out who Kane's connected. Oh, bro, this is like. Just, I just feel like this whole like a cat and mouse game. Well, wow, I'm gonna need y'all to make a petition to get this nigga a car. I'm tired of this man getting dropped off and somebody else driving off and he doesn't have no ride. The book is about to reach some passes. So one for one. Yo, Milgram is cracking it down too. Holy snaps. Bro, she is smart. Monet Abba is gonna fall so far from her head once she figure out that Mecca is the connect. Damn, bro. She really giving Tariq and Kane some ties on each other. Correct me if I'm wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure Tariq's main weakness is really his family, right? Man, I swear, if Brayden takes the fall in this season, I will be so pissed off because Brayden, he's easily like the top five characters in the show. And Milgram's face seems so menacing now. She is so serious. <laughs> this man came through unannounced and blew up their toilet. How you doing, light skin? <laughs> All right, Kane, you about to be on a t-shirt if you keep fucking with Tariq girl. Oh, he was looking for an apartment. Bro, Lord, he spilled a little information that is key to Kane's plot right now. Good. I'm glad Laura didn't. <laughs> Actually, do it. That boy Kane is horny. She's young. Could be someone's daughter. No cap, isn't he like still 18 or 19? I don't understand why she ain't come down on this nigga like she did me. Kane is never going to get over the grudge against Tariq. Now, I know this is probably TMI, but I'm low kind of rolling and <laughs> watching the show at the same time. Your boy's about to get faded after this. I swear, Mega character has like the right amount of medicine aspect to it yo how you like me now yo did z get a haircut what the fuck from the beginning of this episode to now his mood is like a complete 180 oh shit i remember the first time they met it was in a painting or drawing class it was one of those hey diana For a freshman in college, he sure have a lot on his plate. Like, he has more shit on his plate than a Thanksgiving feast. The amount of problems he be dealing with on a daily is crazy. Oh, the Diana knows that Kane sabotaged the um, drugs in the past couple episodes ago. This whole episode, everybody is really trying to get information out of someone. And then Kane is fucking Diana talking out too, bro. What the... I can't keep track of all this. I'm sorry. Ooh, yeah. Kane ain't denying it. Holy shit. She had to watch on. Oh, yeah. They're going to get some information from that record now. Fuck. Upgrade. Bro, y'all about to make her get killed. I can't take my man to jail. Sex. Oh yeah, they are on this case to release him. Oh my god, what's up with the snakery shit in this episode with the characters? Damn, he asking a lot of questions. Thanks for letting me use your. Oh, he was driving a lawn car. See, I told my brother that. He knew how to drive, he just didn't have a car. And he's gonna use the car to tell Kane so he can figure out the connect. All right, Tariq, you better get up out of what I tell you, bro. Fuck. Man, Kane ain't shit. Damn. Ugh. Yeah, the chef knows that Kane knows Tariq. Yo, Tariq got his ass beat. Ooh, who fucked this face up? But Kane said he didn't know him. 
Kane, this your chance to tell the truth. You let him follow you here? Kane, you can't lie to Mecca now. No, I didn't. Man, all of your fingers is going to be in a Christmas stocking with that lion. If you didn't know he was with Mahoney, you should have never put your fucking hands on that fool. Oh, shit! Now, Kane, look what you did, bro. Once he found out that you knew Tariq and he killed enough for no reason, your head is going to be on a fucking pole. That's why I really fuck with Mecha character so much. I have a feeling in the end that Mecha, he's going to be one of the best villains. And now he knows of Yaz custody hearing. I low-key forgot that Redman character was on the show. <laughs> That's actually pretty sad. I would do anything to beat you up. That is a real nigga lawyer. To keep you like this. Do you understand? Yeah, that's a real friend right there. It'll be crazy if Davis lost his license and went to prison. Well, the apartments no longer available. Oh my gosh, bro. You and you gotta get a better alarm Where clock. With Lauren looking at his face like that. She's going to put two and two together. What we say till forever is right now. Lauren is so real, yo. Oh, shit. They about to fuck. Lauren is going to be so heartbroken once all of this unfolds. He is hidden right on the nail with that. He is a way better detective than fucking uh, whatever his name is. No, 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 bro, 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 I had to pause it, bro. They're about to, they're going to find a badge. They're going to find a badge. It's, 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 it's wraps. Yeah, I know what you did. Caught up. Your souls are your fucking son. Yeah, both. Then what kind of fucking mother does that make you? Damn. Huh, Kaden, you had to do her like that. Get in. Come on, Monet. He has a hearing. Sit here and wait till you lose your sister like I almost lost you. Whoa, come on, Monet. That is some ho- I ain't gonna lie, that's some ho-ass shit. Nah, I can't let you go, Tariq. Come on, Monet. Why are you being a- mm. Oh, he is snitching, snitching. Oh, he snitching on the whole family. Is he gonna snitch on Diana too? You can't throw Diana under the bus like that. <laughs> he really tried to get his sister back. He gotta respect it. Wow, he actually got one up on Monet. That's my trick, my nigga, bro. To be honest, that whole entire family is dysfunctional as fuck. And I can take this responsibility for my sister. <laughs> It'd be funny if he go to jail like at the end of this episode because of the whole search. That's good. He's getting the chance though. Yep, that's a drawer, bro. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Raps. It's raps. It's raps. What if that was Brayden's drawer, though? And you do need a fresh start. Look like she gonna give Mecca a chance now. Sign that trust fund paper. Maybe I can meet Zeke now. Whoa. If you're ready. That's hella soon. I need some time. Yeah. Anything you need. They about the fuck. Yo, with how many minutes left in this episode? We got eight minutes left, bro. Something is about to flip. Oh shit, bro. It was Tariq's drawer. I thought, uh, I had a little faith that it would be Brayden's drawer, but hell no. My boy Tariq getting arrested. And then Milgram. Oh, Milgram. Ooh, I don't know why, but I'm starting to hate her character now. My nigga is actually about to go to jail and Brayden looking at him in disappointment. Really, the whole school is looking at him in disappointment. Oh. I really hope he put his foot in Kane ass just because of all of this. Oh, I honestly thought it would be Davis there as his lawyer. But since he represented him earlier, I guess that makes sense. You're supposed to be the two in the event that you were arrested for homicide. Huh? From your father. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, we actually got a message from Ghost? Yo, what's inside the envelope? Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all better not leave me out on the limb for these next two or three weeks. That sounds just like ghosts, bro. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. That's it? 
When he said that, it reminded me when he pointed the gun up to Tariq's uh, face and he said, hey, sleep time over, little nigga. Yep. Oh my gosh, bro. This just caused a whole shitload of energy to spend with Becca. Holy moly. Lorenzo is actually out of prison. Uh, I can just tell her mind is conflicted with so many feelings. Oh my gosh, bro. So it looks like my boy Tariq is actually in jail now. That is a good way to end the mid season. Because to be honest, I don't know how the hell Tariq's gonna get out of this one. But at the same time though, it's power. Really anything can be possible. But now for real though, I'm actually curious to see what will he do to actually reverse the charges. He legit found the badge in his drawer. That's like the best evidence you can ask for possible. But back in season four, they had good evidence towards Ghost and he got out. So hey, pretty sure he lost his ass now. Cause It is not really responsible of him either, so yeah, it's look like you're going back to the farm home. And we also have Lorenzo out. Lorenzo out, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of changes the game a lot. My mind is so, my mind is filled with so many possibilities, I don't even know how to actually get them all out. I can just picture Lorenzo really trying to take over for Monet, and eventually Monet and Lorenzo are gonna have a big clash. One of them gonna die. Seems like a stretch, but I don't care. It's my favorite. Anyways, we just got to the episode. I'm sorry I gotta cut this short because I just literally got done editing this at 1.36 and I am hella tired right now and I'm about to fall asleep. Hit the subscribe button for more future content. I've got to let you guys know next week I will be dropping BMF reactions due to All America is not gonna be out, Power is going on break too. I really have nothing else to react to, so I have time. So I'll see you guys next week. Yeah!